Visiting Coventry, whose blitz ordeal gave Goebbels the verb to Coventrate, their majesties are welcomed by 3,000 schoolchildren at Bradgate Island. Explaining the 25-year redevelopment scheme is the Mayor Alderman Hout. Here, where Coventry's most famous lady, Godiva, presides, a vast modern centre will replace the heart of the city wiped out in one night. In the dawn of that dreadful night, whilst the fires still burned, the King came here to marvel at his people's fortitude. Through that night, the enemy bombed from dusk to dawn, and where the heart of Coventry had been, there was only ruin and flame and those who mourned. In the cathedral, the Bishop of Coventry describes plans for the future. Only the walls and the 300-foot steeple remained after the great raid. Coventry was sorely stricken, but her people put their sorrow behind them and by their labours struck back a mighty blow. Five miles away at Wrighton on Dunsmore, 1,600 officers from England, Wales and the colonies parade for royal inspection as the King makes his first visit to the police college. Representing nearly 120 forces, they've come here for training in the most up-to-date methods of crime prevention and detection. These police officers come from Malaya. With communist troubles, Malaya needs all the help she can get. Next, police dogs and their trainers give their majesties a thrilling interlude. Dogs are trained to take a firm grip without biting, otherwise they'd have a job to get volunteers for this. Dogs have won an important place in police work for their intelligence and courage. After the display, their majesties meet the dogs and the men they work with. And whilst the king is occupied, Police dog Ben, a Labrador, makes friends with the Queen in happy conclusion to a royal and gracious occasion. <laughs> 